coming, there's cars coming. Oh my god. Dude, who is that, Quinn? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh, hold on. Let me see what he's doing. Oh, he's playing that way. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Okay, so let's recap what just happened here. Yeah. So a man yeah. just knocked on our door. Yeah. And he disappeared. And yeah, that was he weird. left this letter. We caught him in the middle of leaving this letter. Something doesn't want your town to survive. <gasps> Hidden around the town are five pairs of specs. Where are specs? They're glasses. Oh. <gasps> Wear them and they'll show you things you'd never suspect. <gasps> There's a cloud of curses hovering. I'm looking out for you with pity. Now get into your car, drive down the street. You'll see the disaster awaiting you, something your entire family will have to defeat. So to recap, we just found Daddy's goggles and we have Lucas's. So we need to go on the hunt for Taylor, Quinn, and my glasses so we can see what the heck is going on in our town and figure out what we are supposed to be breaking or stopping or, I mean, I don't even know. <laughs> Found our pair of glasses. Okay, let's go back to the car with Dad and Taylor, and then remember we gotta read the rest of the letter and see what it said because I can't remember what it said to do. Let's go. Kids raise. Okay, keep on moving, and you're about to see the curse site. Make sure your glasses are on, and it's gonna be on your right. Okay, everybody needs to get their glasses on. Have their glasses yeah, on. Okay, let me see. Okay, our face glasses are on. Okay, so I don't know what we're going to see, but we have to have our glasses on for something that we're going to see. So everybody be looking. It's going to be on our right. See if you see something strange or I don't even know what. What? Uh, my vision's starting to change. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. What is that? like a letter or something there that was the first thought we had about a wise guy because schools make you wise so we're gonna head there and see what we can yeah, find we can. okay so i just got to the school and i've been looking around we went to the other side of the school and didn't see anything i'm not i haven't seen like paper blowing or anything like that i figured if it was some kind of letter that it would be blowing or like I don't even know how he would even have it set up but I'm not seeing anything we've been through all the sides of the school I'm not seeing anything over here I don't know where it would be I don't know what would make him a wise guy to figure this out wasn't at the school we went all the way around it didn't see anything resembling any type of letter that the curse keeper would have left so where did you say the library so next stop is we're going to check out the library they think that yeah, the library a, makes you a wise guy book. oh yeah there's a book like it probably will make you really smart yes. you guys nervous on what he has to tell us i'm i'm anxious i'm a little nervous i don't know what 
We're here at the library and everybody's going to kind of, you guys are going to span out and look for a letter. I've got Taylor with me, the other two. So we're looking for a letter, you guys. So everybody kind of span out, see if you see a letter oh, anywhere. See if you see anything. Oh, let's see. Oh, look, there's a there's a guy down here. Is it by that statue? All right, but no, no. Okay, okay, guys. There's nothing in the basket. All right. Well, I don't think it's at the library. So maybe Dave Longaberger he built this town. I mean, I shouldn't say built this town, but. He has a lot of legacy here in this town, so maybe he's considered a wise guy to the curse keeper. I don't know. We're gonna check. Okay, so we just got to a little spot in our town that honors. Um, oh my gosh! And they literally found it almost immediately. Oh my gosh! It looks just like the other one. Okay, let's get in the car and read it. Yeah, this is the wise guy. This is Dave Longaberger. <laughs> Are you the curse keeper? I don't think he's a curse keeper, but he might be the wise guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hey, let's get back to the car and read it. Come on. Yeah. We found it, Ethan. We yeah. found it. Oh my god. We found it. It was right beside a Dave Longerberger. Yeah. It's another. It's another. It's okay, come on, let's get in the car and let's oh read it. Gosh. Okay, so we just got back in the car. We have another letter from the curse keeper and i even brought this one because i wanted to see what and look they look almost identical yeah, so they, they definitely from the curse keeper and it's signed ck at the bottom if you can see that okay so i'm gonna read the letter really fast so we can know a little bit more about this curse and what's going on in our city okay you saw the curse location i told you it was real this will not be a vacation it will take a lot of work for your town to heal. This shadow has been here since before your grandparents were born. Let me make something clear. It's your family I'm trying to warn. The curse needs to be broken or someone in your family will pay at best. Oh my what does that mean? I don't know. Oh my gosh. I'm not usually this outspoken, but one of you could vanish just like the rest. No, I don't want I have all the information you need. I'll give you some details. Make sure you read, read, read. This won't be some fairy tale. Here are some clues to help you realize what could take place. There's a situation to defuse or someone could disappear into space. Oh no, I don't want my family You'll have to take a little stroll. There's something you must find. It's at the place where you lay a soul. I left a book behind. What do you lay a soul at? I could lay a soul. Um, lay a soul? Like a like, whoa, whoa. Oh, hold on. Look at the spot where the Adams family lay. The like Adams family is across like that like place. The Trinway Mansion, that's where. Where are they? Where do they um, lay? I don't know. Um, just don't oh my get, God. Are they in the graveyard? Wow. Okay, hold on. That's a good idea. Just don't get caught or it will slowly whittle away. Learn all you can about this faithful, those faithful years. Then develop a plan so that your own life doesn't end in tears. If you wait too long, it will happen to you. Something will go wrong and your earthly existence will be through. I have another letter, base. I'll deliver it soon. Don't leave this, oh don't let this leave you in a daze. Look out for the first quarter moon. I don't even know what that means. We have so much to research. Oh, like, like, okay, okay. Yeah. well, first, what was his first thing? So first, he left a book behind where you lay a soul and where the Adams family is. Yeah, so we have that. I know for sure that George Adams owned Prospect Place, which is where the curse was. Yeah, no. they own the Trinity Mansion. So, go to the graveyard and try and find their grave? Yeah, we'll okay, that's where we're going. So, we just got to the graveyard. We're all here. Um, guys, let's reread this real quick. We're looking for the Adams family, where the Adams family lay. So, everyone be looking. These are the older. So, look for something that says Adam. Yeah, look like, look is for something. I see Gonder. I see Adam. Oh my gosh, I see it. <gasps> There's a book. There's a book. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There really is a book here. <gasps> They're new. What are those? Oh my gosh, they do. Okay, hey, let's get down here and read them really quick. 
says newspaper are, newspaper articles in them. Every right, book, we're gonna go in here and read the newspaper articles, or maybe there's more stuff in the book that on the pages that we about the curse. Read. Yes. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, so we have this old book, and there's newspaper articles inside of this old book. Um, the first one says, "Is William Cox dead?" That is the question agitating the public today. Or if not dead, what has become of him? The mysterious disappearance of Mr. William E. Cox, whose country residence, Prospect Place, located between Dresden and Trinway, is the most palatial in the county, has been the theme of conversation in this community for the past week. While it was known last week that he had disappeared and no trace of him could be found, although a detective had been put on his trail, yet it was hoped and thought he would return up and through respect for the feelings of his family and connections, the transcript refrained from mentioning the matter in any respect. But Mr. Cox is gone, as completely as if he, the very earth had opened up and swallowed him. And in spite of every effort made to get some trace of him by his family, his legal advisors, and his friends, none can be had. Mr. Cox left home on Friday, November 15th, just before noon, informing his family that he was going to Zanesville on business. The next one. Did William Cox leave? He probably, he probably didn't, he's not dead, he's probably just disappeared in like a different country. What if that's gonna happen to one of us? Listen to this. Remember oh, in the uh, paper, like, in the... You don't feel very good? No, I don't feel very good. I feel really okay. lightheaded. Oh, okay. Did William Cox leave because... William Cox has been missing for two weeks and no one knows where he is or what happened to him. The events surrounding his disappearance are strange and suspicious and no one can piece together his last moments. However, there is speculation and rumors running rampant around the town of Dresden. It is believed that Prospect Place, built by Mr. Cox's wife's grandfather, George Adams, in 1856, was cursed. Rumors swirled after the disappearance of William Cox. The discussion of the curse began in 1856 when Prospect Place burned to the ground and no one truly knew how it began. And after William Cox left, the town started to believe that Cox could feel in his home and wanted to flee as quickly and quietly as possible. It is unknown why he wouldn't bring his family along, however, if he believed the curse was real. December 6th, he's been disappearing for a month. Where's the Prospect Place real? William Cox disappeared almost a month ago from his Dresden home, Prospect Place. And if you travel around the tiny town, you'll hear speculation as to why he disappeared. Some believe he left because he knew the curse at Prospect Place was real and feared it would bring down his fortune. Others believe the curse took him. Why? Because it is believed he stole Anna Adams' inheritance and the mansion wants him to pay for his debts, so he is eternally banned from ever leaving the home, hence the curse that protrudes from the house. Is the house protecting the town from an evil man? Is there truly a curse on the mansion? The Trinway Mansion? William E. Cox? Seven. He's been uh, he's been disappeared for over ten years. Are Prospect Place hauntings part of the curse? Since William Cox disappeared over ten years ago, the suspicion of a probable curse over Trinway Mansion has been discussed by numerous town dwellers, and reportings of hauntings are circulating even faster. Do the hauntings have anything to do with the curse? Are souls being trapped in this house because of things beyond what the naked eye can see? Since Cox disappeared, death has surrounded his family. With the passing of Constance and prior to his disappearance, many early untimely deaths, including Charlie Adams, Clarissa Adams, Edward Adams, and Edward Adams. Many believe these souls are trapped here and either William fled prior to his passing so he wouldn't remain trapped, as many believe, or the mansion took him and he remains one of the trapped. Can the mansion take people? And then listen to this, you guys. November 15th, 1907. As if the curse of the Trinway Mansion wasn't alarming enough with the disappearance of William Cox 12 years ago today, um, more disappearances are Daddy, happening. Daddy feels like, he doesn't feel like real skin anymore. He feels like really light, like really like thin sandpaper. I think he's all right. Listen, a quote from the local detective states, we have had six people disappear over the last 12 years and three men disappear without a trace on Hall since Halloween night. Something is happening. Benjamin Harold was with, was with his wife and children on the night of 31 October 1907. His wife says during dinner he was sitting in his chair. She turned around to grab the children some more bread and he was gone when she turned around. It's truly unexplainable. 
and two other men went missing the same night under the same suspicious circumstances. There one minute, gone the next. That's crazy. Oh. That sounds Baby, crazy. are you alright? I don't feel good. I think I might go for just like a little walk. Hold on. Okay, Ethan went to take a walk. He's not feeling very well. So yeah. we're just gonna kind of well, hang out I here walk, until we can kind of figure out. Like very fresh up and very yeah. Oh my God, Quinn! He's disappeared! Oh my God! Oh my God! 